everybody. Uh, I know it's been a while. Been uh, doing a lot of things. Mainly uh, looking for a job. I uh, left Maverick back in May. Uh, That's I think the last video I posted that you know, had anything to do with work. And uh, uh, May the 13th, the company contacted me. I'd never applied to them, didn't even know they existed. And this company, they contacted me, told me what what the uh, job that they were offering was and asked me if I'd be interested in it. And uh, I looked into it, did some research on their company. Uh, I'm not really allowed to say what the company is because of their privacy policy but uh, anyway so I said yeah sure I'd be interested in it and I, I you know I told them I said yeah I haven't been driving for a long time I've only got a few months of experience and they said okay we, we have to talk to the rest of their people so uh, sorry thought I was going to see somebody get their rear end smacked there headed the other direction anyway uh, so time went on time went on time went on and I was like man I just gave up on this started applying at different jobs or different companies and stuff I applied at uh, even some uh, you know, local construction companies local uh, dump truck service companies and stuff like that paving companies and uh, then finally well in the meantime I was working at the county as paramedic back doing that again and uh, then I seen this thing and it was like just it almost said Jason this is for you right on it company their their hirings their hiring pitch was flatbed no tarping I was like I'm all over that shit, stuff so I called, they hired me, or they offered me a job on the spot, said I could start training within three days, and then uh, go out with a trainer, and a few days after that, or a week or so after that, well, I no sooner than hung up with them and the original company contacted me back and said great news we talked to everybody and you're hired I'd done a couple phone interviews with them there at the beginning when they told me that uh, they were going to have to talk to their administration and see what I can tell you about the company is they're a local company I'm home every night or almost every night just depends that all depends on the DOT, you know, because I still have to follow that DOT clock. But, uh, the, I'm not really, I mean, I have to hand load and unload some stuff, but it's nothing like throwing those tarps up over my head, I can tell you that. I've been home every day since I started, which is, is my second week. Oh, and I'm off tomorrow because it's 4th of July and I'm paid for tomorrow because they pay for holidays um, I get 10 paid days of vacation a year and then it goes up after I get some seniority it goes up higher and uh, you know, they're, what I'm doing there's two of us out of this terminal uh, that, that drive for them and haul this, these loads. 
and uh, I mean I, I just lucked into it it's only 20 no it's 32 miles from my house so you know about 45 minute drive because a lot of it's two lane but uh, man talk about falling in crap and coming out smelling like rose this, uh, this is amazing um, I'm still wearing my Maverick hat. I can't give that up. I love this hat. Love Maverick. They're a great company. Um, plus, my company hasn't gave me any swag yet. So, um, it's what it is. They, it's on order, but you know they have to get my stuff at tent awning place, build canopies and stuff because. Uh, you know, it's kind of got to be big. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to give this uh, video a little shout out to everybody that that follows me and has been wondering about me, and even to the people that hasn't been wondering about me and really doesn't care. I don't either. I just do this just because passes the time and you know when I started this I had all intentions and still do of trying to help people become a truck driver if they want uh, I have learned something and uh, today was the very first time okay I went trucking school in January drove 10 speed got my CDL with that with the 10 speed went straight to Maverick drove an automatic well, this company, my truck, it's a day cab truck, but it's an 18 speed. I had no clue how to drive an 18 speed. Um, and some would say that I still don't if they had seen me trying to drive it today. But I'm a learning. I got it to point A, from point A to point B and back to point A without killing anybody or ripping any gears out or anything like that. So, it's just a learning curve. I'm getting there. Anyway, if you like my videos, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm still more willing to help anybody try to get their CDL. Now I have a West Virginia CDL book that I've highlighted and I can uh, send out to people uh, via PDF format on my computer email it to you because uh, I, I had to go and get my hazmat and my tanker endorsements to drive for this company so I did that and uh, if you need any help want any help email me emails going to be posted on here uh, good luck to anybody that's trying and I appreciate all the other drivers out there I appreciate everybody that helped me get started. So, uh, everybody have a good day and a happy 4th of July. And don't drink and shoot fireworks. I'm still a fireman and still a paramedic. So, you know, I still got to throw that out there that I've seen people do some stupid shit when they're drinking and setting off fireworks. Anyway, y'all take care and uh, keep on watching. Stay safe.